Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Michelle Arnold. She's with the University of Kentucky's Extension Ruminant Veterinarian there. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well and I'm glad you're here today because we're going to talk about a topic that seems like it kind of rears its ugly head every single year, but it's important and it's important for our beef producers and that's pink eye. Yes, every year we have pink eye. It seems it's the most requested topic that I um, have to have to talk about, and it's the most difficult um, because it does seem to be a reoccurring. We we just don't seem to have a good handle on how to stop it. First, let's talk about what is pink eye. So pink eye is um, an in infectious disease caused by a bacteria. That's actually the bacteria is Moraxella bovis. And that is normal. That's a normal bacteria of the eye. So. There are some stress factors, some environmental factors, some host factors that, uh, that trigger this bacteria to all of a sudden turn mean. It gets what we call virulent. So when it turns these factors on, then it can attack the cornea of the eye, which is the clear, you know, the clear area we see through. Um, and that when it attacks the eye, it starts to dissolve the cornea and makes an ulcer. And that can progress and finally end up as, a, as an eye that's non-functioning. And again, this is a situation where we have other factors that play, that come into play. So, and so what are some of those other factors? Number one contributing factor is face flies. Face flies um, make their living by going up, scratching the surface of the cornea. And with because their feet are kind of like sandpaper, they scratch the eye and make it weak. And then they blot up the tears. So face flies are blotters. And that's different than horn flies, which bite and can suck blood, which also makes face flies hard to control because we can't treat with the traditional products that go into the bloodstream. You have to apply a uh, face fly control to the face. But they damage the cornea, so it gives that bacteria a place to grow, plus they spread it from one to the next. So that's our number one um, problem. Other things like physical irritation, something like the seed heads, like you said, um, dust, sunlight. If they don't have shade, UV light can cause damage to the eye. So any damaged area to the eye itself is a place where the bacteria can grab on. The other big part is host factors, which means the things that involve the cattle which in Kentucky, number one by far and away is not providing adequate trace mineral. So they're deficient in selenium, deficient in copper, and those two uh, trace minerals are, are vital to preventing disease, any disease. But pink eye is especially um, prevalent in the summer. And that's when and we see these a lot of deficiencies. For producers now, It'd mm -hmm. probably be important to implement a good face fly control strategy, especially if they've had problems with pink eye before. And it might take more than one method of control. A lot of times people will put in fly tags, mm -hmm. but, but they're only effective for so long and usually don't last us the entire season. Correct. And then some people use the um, insect growth regulators in the mineral itself. And if you use those, great, but you need to start them right now. They should be started 30 days prior to. Um, fly season and continued until 30 days after it's over. So you've still got to institute something for um, the adult face fly control. So there are um, other methods though. We've got um, any type of fly control that they walk underneath like a back rubber with, with the um, pieces of fabric that hang down so that they have to walk through and get that on their face is, a, is great control. But then you, you put it someplace where they have to go through like a gate to get to water or get to mineral makes a big difference. Absolutely. Now, is there any control once that animal gets pink eye? It's, and once they've got pink eye, we just need to treat. We need to treat with antibiotics and, and quickly. You certainly don't want to delay that. So when you start to see that weepy, you know, weepy and they, they hold their eye closed because it's painful, that's the time to treat right then. Long-acting tetracyclines such as LA-300 is still the, the, the most widely used. And if you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office or your veterinarian, and I'm sure they'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.